Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. What a great movement, this movement of detachment. I continue saying, the vast majority are doing it with love in their hearts and are realizing how much you keep for nothing, how much you keep just out of attachment, because you are sorry to get rid of it. It's my brothers, this is a great exercise. It seems silly, it seems small, no but it is not. It is a very important exercise for the world to come, where you will have no attachment to anything. Of course you will have your things but everything will belong to everyone, no one will have more than anyone else. So there is no such attachment, ah, this is mine, no. If it is good it will be for the whole, it is another concept of life that today you cannot imagine what it will be like, only when you start to live it will you understand what this new life will be like. A new month begins. A month of great energetic movements, movements on your planet. Gaia has already started the month very busy and will be like this throughout this month. You are, let's say, in a blessed country, where few climatic phenomena occur, but there are places on the planet that are more susceptible to certain changes, and Gaia is acting, she is not standing still, Gaia is doing her role, her cleaning, little by little. No, don't be afraid. Nothing alarming will happen. Today I'm going to talk a little about, what many people are feeling, they are hearing, sometimes they ask, about what the event will be like and when it will be. I already told you, there is no date. There is a deadline but it can happen at any time. You just need to reach a certain energy level. So when I tell you, don't wait until tomorrow to start making changes, I'm not being an alarmist, I'm not being pessimistic, I'm just telling the truth. I repeat again. There is a deadline, where it will happen regardless of the number of people who are vibrating on the planet, but if a critical mass manages to reach this point, it will happen. So, my brothers, there is no date, there is no closed planning, planning is open. Anyone who says there is a date, I say again, is lying, there is no date, no one knows what date it will be. Nobody. If any of you hear somewhere that there is a date, don't listen because it doesn't exist, when I say it doesn't exist, there is no date known to you. All the beings of light who are part of the process are ready, but they also do not know when it will be. Only our Father or Mother God in High Command do know this deadline or the date of critical mass, it does not matter. So there's no point in speculating, saying, oh, it's going to be this year, it's going to be next year, it's going to be in ten years, there's no point because you won't know when it will be. Here comes the other part which is what will it be like. You base yourself on what is written in some books. Yes. The apocalypse in your Bible says some things, but I say again, everything will depend on the energy that was achieved, everything will depend on the way things will happen, then what is there may happen, or it may not happen. Everything is possible. So my brothers, stop worrying about how and when it will be, focus on your vibration, focus on your elevation, focus on the elevation and vibration of those around you, on what you can do to elevate them. That's what's important, the rest doesn't matter at the moment, everyone does their part because, you emanating light, emanating love, vibrating trust, you exhale this to the whole, and it propagates, you're the ones who think no, that, ah, I'm alone, I can't change who's around me, you're the ones who think. Many people around you are feeling the difference, but they don't give in so that they don't give reasons for everything you are saying, but they are feeling that something inside them is changing. So it's not a case of fighting, it's not a case of imposing your ideas, just vibrate, vibrate louder and louder, because the more you vibrate, the more you spread around you and the more the people around you feel. Their vibration, even if they swear they don't feel anything. It's my brothers, the time has come when each of you has to think about yourself. Clear. I understand that you have many people around you who depend on your care, I understand perfectly, 
and you will not abandon them. But if they are people who have free will, who can decide their own lives, there is nothing you can do. You can only impose it on those who completely depend on you, like your children, although they are beings ready for what is going to happen, many are not awake yet, so you have to help them to wake up. How do you do this? Vibrating close to them, giving them a lot of love, a lot of affection, talking to them about it, meditating with them, listening to interesting music with them, reading about it with them. This is your role and you will be helping these children to rise even higher. So my brothers, this is the way, there is no other, it's not about worrying about whether it's going to be tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, or next month, or next year. No. Worry about yourself, no matter what is happening around you, around you is the problem of our father or mother God and the command. So don't worry about what's happening to the planet, because you can't do anything about it. Everything is happening as it has to happen, so take care of yourself, each one of you takes care of yourself and those who depend on you, that's all. Surrender, trust, that's what you have to do. Don't keep speculating things because every time you speculate you lose your vibration, because speculation is the lack of trust, it's the uncertainty of what's to come, so let it go, let it go, take care of yourself. Another thing my brothers, many of you are rehashing things from the past, things from past lives, for what? Understand the following, the current incarnation is the incarnation in which you made a life decision, either you will ascend, or you will not. So what was left behind, was left behind. If you want to solve your problems from other incarnations, do the forgiveness procedure, as many times as you want, because then, you free yourself from all those ties that remained in the past, that's what you have to do. Oh, how many times do I do it, as many times as you want, until you feel that you no longer owe anyone anything neither in the past nor in the present. Do the forgiveness procedure. That's all you have to do. Because by doing this procedure, you break all the ties that still bind you to past incarnations. So stop fussing over what has already happened, what has happened. What's gone is gone. The world is different now, you will not be reincarnated anymore. Understand this. So forget your past life mistakes. Forgive yourself, forgive those who did you harm, period. Put a stone on what happened, what happened, happened. The world is now in another dimension. Move forward. Stop dwelling on yourself, suffering over what happened without understanding, because you don't know what happened back there, you have vague memories, so break those memories. Forgive and ask for forgiveness, and those memories will disappear from your minds for now. Later when you ascend, you will see each of your incarnations. You will be invited to watch the movie of your life. And it will take you a few days to see everything you've been through, but for what? So that you understand the lessons that you still have to improve, because even as you ascend, you will still have a lot to learn. Evolution is constant my brothers. It is not because you go to the fifth dimension that you will stop evolving, no. You will vibrate in fifth but you have to continue evolving, you have to continue incarnating, disincarnating, within the time appropriate to the dimension, take greater flights, stop staying in one spot. Then you will learn everything you experienced, this is if it is in everyone's interest, if not, let it go, move forward, start from scratch it will be very good. So my brothers, stop it, stop digging into things from the past. Understand, the path is now different. The path now has no return, you will no longer return in this dimension. So try to go forward, not backwards. Stop mumbling about things that have already happened. I'm saying this here almost every time, you keep dwelling on the past, for what? Why dwell on the past? What do you do with that? Bring that bad energy back to the present. So it's over, it's said, it's over. 
leave it where it is, in the past. Live in the present, live in now, not tomorrow. Live in the now, and what is the now? It's about forgiving and asking for forgiveness and that's it, and continuing to walk better and better, feeling better each time, rising higher each time. It's what I already told you, you slip, get up, realize your mistake and move on, don't slip and sit on the floor crying, complaining, and dwelling on that mistake. No. Stand up, realize where you made a mistake, no, here I don't make any more mistakes, and try not to make any more mistakes, and move forward, because new challenges will appear, new slip UPS will happen. So my brothers, rise up, learn to grow. Stop dwelling on things, saying the same thing all the time. Ah, because I went through this, this hurt me, it hurt me. He arrives. Did it hurt, did it hurt? It remained in the past. Are you hurt? Ask for forgiveness, forgive and this will go away, that's where you grow, that's when you forget everything that was in the past, because until you make this movement of forgiving and asking for forgiveness, you won't grow, because you will always have this hurt in your heart, always with this feeling that you are tied up inside. So do it, walk forward, walk up. Cut the ties with the past, get rid of what happened, and live in the now. Live the vibration of the moment, live love, live in the light, vibra love, vibra light, and then yes, you will be ready so that if in a minute, the event happens, you will be ready to go, because if you keep vibrating the past, this vibration he will not let you go, because you still have grievances in your heart, and those who have these feelings in their hearts will not go. I already told you my brothers, the fifth dimension does not vibrate with low feelings, it does not vibrate with low vibrational feelings, so how do you want to ascend with hurt in your hearts? Forgive. Ask for forgiveness. Get rid of that feeling and then yes, you will begin to take step by step, towards your ascension because otherwise, you will not ascend, because you are not resonating with the fifth, you continue with those pieces there in the third and below, because everything is trapped inside, tied up chained and you don't want to get rid of it. You like to remember the suffering you had. It's okay. Keep resonating this suffering, keep resonating hurt, keep resonating resentment, stay. Not now, don't complain later when you don't ascend, because with this feeling, you won't ascend. So my brothers stop talking about the past. The past has passed. Treat the past, and live in the present. The present is what matters, it is what you are vibrating at every moment. Remember, the event can happen at any moment, reaching critical mass, at any moment, so don't leave it until later, don't leave it until later to remove those feelings from within, because it could be too late. Good. We are starting a new week, so let's pray this week. My Archangel Michael May you fill my chest with love, light, peace, and harmony. May any other feeling that vibrates in my heart, I know how to distinguish it and know how to transmute it into love and light, into forgiveness, into a request for forgiveness. May I understand that my path is now in the present, and in this present I just want to vibrate light and vibrate love, for myself and for everyone around me, without exception. That's it my brothers. Continue the walk but with an open heart, vibrating loudly. I am Archangel Michael. I am always here, ready to help you whenever you need it. Ask for my help, call me, and I will help each one of you, to eliminate these feelings within your hearts.